Okay, this is Ringwalk Media and Association Well Eyes Therapy, Still Hub Management and Barclay Carter Racing. Well, we made it back for the fight of the night and Josh Holmes, a very hard fought victory. Yeah, I made that pretty hard, didn't I? Um, but it was entertaining, weren't it? Um, I enjoyed that, you know what I mean? That's my first 10 rounder. Tough kid, him. Uh, his record doesn't do him any favours, I don't think. He's a tough kid and he came for it tonight. I think that was his world title fight tonight. Um, and yeah, he came for it, but Got the win, got the 10 rounds under my belt. Uh, ticked through a lot of boxes. Got a cut, but we came through it. I think probably let him into the fight when I got the cut. That was the first time getting a proper cut and it running into the eye. So that, that's a new experience. Um, but then I boxed his head off the last two rounds. I could found my rhythm in the last two, found my second wind, and yeah, got the win. I have to ask you anything else. You've done the whole fight. Yeah. Uh, I mean, listen, you know, he, like you said, he was game and you stood here last week and said, I really want someone to come and have a fight with me. Um, he did that. Um, there was a lot of trading inside, wasn't there? Um, probably the first time you felt that level of intensity inside. Yeah, he's, he's, he's good on the inside. Um, he throws a lot of shots on the inside, whips him around to the body. I think I let him do that too much. You know, my style is boxing and moving. Like I did in the last two rounds, he couldn't touch me. He didn't, he didn't touch me in the last two rounds. But I think the cut was just a bit of a game changer in the fight where I just kind of let him let him into it a little bit. Like I thought I was boxing really well for the first four. I think I got the cut in the fifth. And then kind of just got a little bit sloppy and took it. Like it was his fight then um, on the ropes. Just with struggling with the vision. Then Nat got the cut sorted. And yeah, the last two rounds, found my second wind. And I'm like, why haven't I done this for... For the last few rounds, it had been a lot easier night. Well, I noticed tonight you were stopping a lot that was coming straight down the centre. And the only time you were kind of getting caught a little bit was when you were kind of moving off and you seemed to be able to just stick one in there. But you, you kind of worked that out with your feet. So, like you said, you had a couple of rounds in the middle there, like six and seven, where perhaps he was stronger. But, you know, the last sort of three three rounds, you were bang on top. Yeah, that's it. I just, my feet switched off. I think it was with it, with it, like I said, with the eye going... It, that was something new to, to me, so I'm glad that box is ticks now. Um, coming through that, you know, never had that before. The cut, you know, coming down into the face, couldn't, couldn't see out of that eye. So, yeah, I came through it in the last two rounds. Just thought, why am I not just boxing like I, like I should be, like I'm in the gym? And, yeah, when I was boxing on, my, on the back foot, picking shots, throwing them uppercuts in, you know, his eye were a mess. Should have just done that, you know, f from the round six onwards. You know, and, and I hurt him, hurt him bad to the body. Just couldn't quite get the finish. Hurt him out to the head as well. But his toe just kept going forward and his eye were fully shut and it ended up fight. But yeah, what a fight. Um, it's what we're in it. That's what we're in this game for, isn't it? We're in it for proper fights. You know, and it for any, anything else. And like I say, I've, I've ticked that box of a 10 rounder now and I came on strong. So and I felt like I could have could have done another two rounds at that pace that I was boxing in the last two. But yeah, just switched off a little bit. Yeah, I think mean, I think you know if you're going to start looking at English titles at that level, you've got to come through fights like that. And I think you were bang on tonight. You tested yourself. Um, Joe was mentioning in the change rooms before that you know, y yeah, there were a couple of rounds there where you were learning, but you came on strong at the end, and that's the biggest thing. Your fitness was bang on. You know, you knew what you were doing at the end. You didn't. You know, okay, it's your first cut. Um, Nat did a brilliant job in there from that, that I think it was a six round. I think she stopped it by then, hadn't she? Yeah, yeah. But when it first went, I'd not, I've not, i never felt a cut like that before. So, you know, it's very warm blood coming down the face into the eye. It was a head butt, by the way, that. Yeah, it was a head clash, weren't it? Um, he was using his head a lot, to be honest. Um, but like I said, I, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't have let him use his head. I should have been using my feet like I did in the last two rounds. But we'll go back to the gym and, you know, we'll, we'll keep working. Look, I'm not. Not perfect, you know. I'm 15 fights in, no big amateur background before me. I had two years out before I even turned pro, so I, I'm learning on the job, you know what I mean. And had much experience, so I'm just loving it, loving the experience, what I'm getting, and loving the journey so far. And hopefully, we can box for titles, you know, see what we can get. Well, we can definitely see the Joe Gallagher effect in your boxing. You're certainly boxing smarter and cleaner. Um, every fight we've seen you since you've been with Joe, you're improving. Um, and that only bodes well for the future, doesn't it? Of course, yeah. You know, we're, we're always improving in the gym. Every day we try to improve that one percent. So, and we just try to put it in the fights. Look, it's no good training well and 
not having fights and not performing. I'm trying to stay busy and just keep active. And all I've been having is six rounds, so this is just good to get a ten round under my belt. You know what I mean? I just finally got a ten round under my belt, and I finished strong in the ten rounder, which is I'm going to take a lot from that. I'll tell you what, we're, we're having a look at you now. You've got a little cut on your eye and all the rest of it, but I don't know what you're going to look like in a couple of days. You've gone a bloody stag do in the morning, aren't you? <laughs> been forced out on a stag do. It's been booked for ages and this fight came up and, yeah. So I'm just going to take a nice little break. Um, brother in law stag do, so I can't get out of it. <laughs> Listen, as always, very well supported out there. Lots of people stand at the end, treated to the fight of the night. Um, a little message for your supporters and your family. Just a massive thank you for everyone coming down and showing the support. You know, it's hard to sell tickets and especially when it's you know it's on so late. Um people have got other stuff to do, but everyone coming down and showing the support, all my family, you know, they're here every single time and I won't be doing it if it worked for them, you know what I mean? Trying to make my mum and dad proud. It's the last little mention, Marcus in the corner. He's coming of age as well. He's really starting to help you and the other boxers and uh it's nice to see Joe bringing Marcus on. Marcus is going to be a top coach, you know. Yeah, he's um, very knowledgeable. He's taking everything in from Joe, and he's, you know, he's putting it in on us. And I, I really believe in Marcus. Going to be a great coach, you know. When he gets some more experience under his belt, he says the right things and does the right things. Listen, we're going to let you go because there's crowds of people outside the door waiting. Everyone wants to go home. Congratulations, a brilliant performance, and uh, I'm looking forward to what you do next because I've got a funny feeling it's going to be more of the same. Off the back out soon enough. Thanks, Josh. Well done. Cheers.